Hey, what's up, folks? We are live, live, live. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we are going to be doing the goody rip tonight for this big league baseball product, one of the cooler baseball products I think that's out on the market today. Uh, not going to start this thing until 7 o'clock, so if you're joining now, we're picking this up now. we got about 40 minutes before we're actually going to get down and dirty. I did, I did, I was just at my in-law's house, and I got some of this uh, 1993 edition leaf stuff, which I'm pretty excited about because it's super, super dope. Super dope, super dope. And I wonder if I can come in here and adjust and enter the studio on this camera because that would be kind of cool if I could actually have both cameras rocking and rolling. You know, you know, get this goody rip ready to rock and roll. Rock and roll, hoochie coo. Uh, be right back. All right, so I am really, really, really excited here. Hey, what's up, Mia Kila? How are you? Hey, what's up, Rodolfo? How's it going, man? How is it going? Good to see you. Good to see you. How's this uh, angle? I'm actually trying something new here. I'm trying this vertical stream because supposedly uh, uh, that's what um, that's if I end up doing whatnot, that's kind of what they want you to do. Uh, I did sit through the whatnot training. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. I did sit through the whatnot training today. So I might be going through. I might be trying to sell on whatnot, folks. That may be what's going to happen here. So. What if I do this? If I turn, can I actually? So yeah, bear with me, guys, and I appreciate you guys being here early because then I can I can test some stuff. Uh, if I come over here, let me fix that camera a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. There's too much of a glare. It's not horrible. If I bring that up, does it get better or worse? Does it get better or worse? Let's go ahead and enter the studio over with this camera. Enter the studio here. If I add this to the stage. Oh, hey, what's up there? I think I'll just have to use this microphone, which is fine. It's fine, 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 fine. So I'm gonna go through here and make sure that goes away. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead here and, um, yeah, that's all good, man. I get it. I, You know, I appreciate just any amount of time that you guys can hang out and, and spend here. This is pretty, pretty dope. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and rip one of these leaf packs right now. When we do the goodie rip later, I'm going to make myself go away. But I think me hanging out right here right now, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this leaf stuff right now. Series 114 baseball cards, uh, dynamic photography and embossed foil spotlight 20 of 1993s. So there's gold leaf rookies in here. Available exclusive in 14 card foil packs, gold leaf rookie cards, one through 10 are randomly inserted in series one and then uh, series two. And this is, this is series one. So I don't even know who's in this set. We'll see. But what I do know from testing one pack earlier is these cards uh, like to the cards that stick together, play together. Right. So I don't know. How does this showing up for you? Uh, Rodolfo and Aquila? Does this, does this look okay? And I guess when I open stuff up, I can go over here and boom, do something like that, right? Does that look pretty good on your cameras? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, <laughs> separate. It's not even opening this pack, right? It's separating the cards in this pack. And then I'm going to let the folks know over in who've purchased spots where we're at, what we've got going on. And then uh, I'll be back to do some more ripping, but. Yeah, I don't like that the names are so hard to read in this. I, you know, it's, you know, I've given my spiel on cards before, so 
Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, this is where I'm going to rip from. I wish I could make this layout. I don't want... I don't want... Yeah, I wish you could just see that bigger. How do I see that bigger? If I hop over on YouTube, can I see it bigger? If I watch myself live, I always feel like somebody's watching me. But I just can't see. Oh, oh, and I can see the chat over there too. I can't see the chat in this full screen view. Come on, YouTube, help a help a brother out. There we go. That's a little bit better. Da, 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 da. Really excited to rip this big league stuff. There's a Zane Smith for the Pirates. Is this camera in focus or is it out of focus? Feels like it's out of focus. Pedro Martinez, that's a dope card for the Dodgers. Cool, 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 cool. Hey, whoever else is out there watching, we're just doing a little pre-rip testing here, seeing what's going on. Tim Scott for the Padres. There you go, there you go. Jeff Kent for the Mets. Another Zane. Wait, we got two Zane Smiths in this pack? Man, oh, man. Oh, look, hey, there's a print line. It's not just our time. <laughs> hey, what's up, whoever else is watching this? We are ripping a whole bunch of sports cards tonight. We do have a goodie rip going down. People have bought spots. We're going to be opening up three boxes of that Topps Big League here pretty soon, pretty soon. Here's a Andrero Cedeno. Uh, this is almost like ASMR. These cards are open apart, isn't it? Listen. <laughs> uh, but that was a Bernard Gilkey for the Cardinals. Where's Dad of Three Cards fans at, right? And then a Luis Gonzalez for the Astros. I do like this. I do like this art. We are going to have some problems with the cards sticking and stuff like that. If there was anything super, super valuable in here, we might have to take a heater to this. But, um, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead right now, and I'm going to let the folks know. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to let the folks know on X what we're doing here. Uh, da, 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 da. That we are actually live and getting ready. I can share this. Copy it over. Boom, schlock, lock, boom. Here we go. Here we go. Select the message. Where are my folks from earlier today? Yeah, we, I think we got like five people in this thing. So I'm live now, setting up. All right, all right. And then we do have some spots left. And we'll see if we can uh, get rid of those here. Ba, 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 ba. These are the spots left. So we will be doing a duck race. Ooh, that'll be interesting. How can I do a duck race like this? Can I share a screen? What's that look like if I share my screen? Oh, that's horrible. Ooh, yeah, that one's going to be tough. I guess that makes it a little bit bigger. We'll have to see here what's going on. Uh, we'll see what these duck races look like. Da, 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 da. But I'm going to have the duck race stuff all set up so at 7 o'clock we can just rock and roll. Uh, let's go, let's go. So the duck races. Can I switch over to that screen from here? I really do need that second monitor. I'm Basically, I'm going to have to get a whole like uh, studio production set up at some point here. Uh, let's go there, top and bottom. Cool, cool, cool. Let's share my screen. I share the screen if we share the duck races how's that look that looks pretty good you'll be able to see enough right and we're not doing heats or anything like that we're just going to do one big duck race for what's going on but we want to make sure that gets recorded so over in the goodie rip we've got one two three four five six seven eight teams left uh and i'm going to offer those up for the folks who are in this and uh these teams are left Five bucks a team. All right, all right. So, yeah, we will be able to do the duck races. 
you'll be able to see that pretty fine, pretty fine. We'll be able to see the ripping here. If I go back, I do wish I could get that second monitor set up. Uh, stop screen share here, go top and bottom. And if I just go there, so when I rip cards tonight, we'll just be able to come in here, hopefully see pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna go over to boom, 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 YouTube. Looks like it's in focus, right? There's a scratch on that pack. I do like these packs, they're pretty dope. Uh, they look for randomly inserted Frank Thomas cards. So that's really what we're looking for tonight is that randomly inserted Frank Thomas card. Ta -da. If you're out there watching, just joining in, uh, appreciate it. My name is Mike Vanderpool, also known as Get Good Dad. And I like to open sports cards and I like to talk sports cards and I like to build a community of people who just want to hang out, communicate, have some fun around sports cards. So there's an Andy Bennis beans for the Padres. There's a Dwight Gooden for the Mets. That's a nice looking card. It's a nice, nice looking card. I like the action poses. I like it in the depth of field on the ball too. That's pretty dope. Let's see here. Man, oh man. The, the tops big league will go a little bit smoother than this because those packs, uh, trust me, I've opened them. They do not stick together. There's Pete Smith for the Braves. There's a George Brett for the Royals. Look at that great card. Wow. It's a great, great card. But some of the George Brett shots are just phenomenal. Pete Smith for the Braves. We already said that. Who's on the back of Pete Smith? Is that a Nolan Ryan? Oh, don't stick too badly. Yeah, there we go. Look at that Nolan Ryan card. Dude, this photography is so, so dope, man. So, so dope. I wonder if some Kurt's card care will clean these up if I can get them to gem. <laughs> How y'all feel about Kurt's card care? There's a Tony Phillips, Tony the Tiger, with a nice little stick line on it. Look at that great pose for Jeff Hudson there. Super, super dope, man. Oops. Kenny Rogers. Yeah, the back card out of these packs all seems to be pretty well destroyed. Kevin Apier. Hey, what's up, Jeremy Jones? Me, Red Eye. Happy, happy Easter to you as well. So uh, I'm just kind of getting some stuff tested here. I'm trying this new camera angle, seeing if I can make it happen. You know me always testing. And and I was at my father-in-law's house, my, my mother-in-law's house for Easter. And he, we started talking sports cars. He's like, Hey, I got something in the basement for you. And this is a box of 93 Fleer that I thought I'd open a little bit as part of a test, getting us ready for this big league rip. This stuff is awesome, man. I don't know if I should Keep opening it though, without doing some some heat, right? That like it's sticking together, and I think it's if you uh, don't want to ruin some good cards. So Tim Tufel for the Padres, great, great, great photography on these though. Dean Palmer on the back there. Oh, I like that. The hologram is in the shape of the logo, folks. That's super dope. Wow, what a great set. What a great, great set. Yeah, for sure. That, yeah, so my father-in-law, he's a little bit like me. He's uh, just kind of a whole bunch of cool stuff. Oh, look at that Lou Whitaker, man. Dude, the action shots here are phenomenal. Wow. I mean, I don't know if there's any real big, huge bangers in here, but you know what, folks? I care less about the bangers and more about just having a good time. Pretty, pretty exciting cards. The photography is just spectacular on these things. Hey, what's up? Anybody else who's out there watching, just checking us out? We're uh, uh, 6.33 right now. We're getting ready for the goodie rip at 7 o'clock. Uh, here's the plan. If you're checking this out, we have three boxes of Topps Big League uh, Baseball. We've sold spots in this goodie rip. There are a few spots left. Um, 
we'll see what happens here in the last half hour if we can fill this thing up. Uh, even if not, we're, we've agreed we're just going to rip it and I'll eat the teams because, again, you know, that's just – I prefer ripping, ripping, ripping. So we have three boxes of this, and then what we're going to do is after each box, we'll do a giveaway for people watching live. That might be a pain in the rear, but we'll figure it out. And I think I'm going to give away uh, some baseball cards, Griffey and Bo Jackson cards will be the giveaways tonight. So three giveys, one, two, three cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And I might have a special treat as part of the giveaways too. Depends on who actually shows up. Let's go ahead. We'll just keep kind of checking these things out here. Looking for a Frank Thomas score. I mean, it's Leaf. It's not score, but you know what I mean? Yeah, I really, really dig that logo in the hologram, man. That's sharp, too. That's, like, really, really sharp. There's another Pedro Munoz. Oh, a checklist. Yay. Who doesn't love a checklist card? So we were looking at some 1993 Leaf cards. And it, this is what? Was this probably ooh, Steve Avery? Nice. This is probably their product product to compete with stadium club i think if i'm if i'm looking at it right i don't know a lot about the post 91 92 cards uh you know 92 is when i started really thinking about girls and less about baseball cards if i'm going to be 100 percent honest oh what's this is this card turned backwards did they do that for a reason back in the day hey there we go what is that so that is a gold leaf Will Cordero rookies. So yeah, there are 10 rookie cards in this set. Is this one of the rookies? It doesn't have a number. Oh yeah, it does. Two of 20. Okay. So down here in this lower right corner, this is card number two of 20. Series one had uh, 10 rookies in it. Series two has 10 rookies in it. And this is going to get put into a sleeve just because, you know what, why not? Insert from this set. And it was turned backwards, so that's interesting. Let's see if I can actually get it in the dig bag gong gong sleeve. There we go. There we go. Yeah, pretty cool card. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We might give that one away tonight, too. Uh, and that was a Gerald Williams for the Yankees. Greg Harris for the Red Sox. The back on these are super dope too, man. What a great, great set. The only complaint that I have, man, like the backs are better than some of the modern fronts, yo. Two pictures. Look at this set. Holy smacks. My only complaint is the name being hard to read because of the, the foil. Foil names, I'm not down for. I, I want to be able to know who I'm looking at, uh, especially because I don't follow baseball. Um, readable names are one of the important things. Mike Piazza for the Dodgers. There we go. Look at how young he looks there. Baby face Piazza. How's the focus on this camera, y'all, out there? Is it everything looking good? Jose Oquendo. A little bit of the ASMR pulling apart. Jeff Offerman for the Dodgers. Great action shot there for sure, for sure. I think that focus looks pretty good on the camera. And then bingo, bango, bongo, Todd Zeal. We all thought Todd Zeal was going to make us millionaires. We all thought Todd Zeal was going to make us millionaires. Boom, 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 boom. All right, thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see here. How are we going to do this so it doesn't get too messy? Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's the real question. Kind of just want to rip, rip these until we get one of those cool Frank Thomas cards. I don't even know what they look like. Travis Fryman there on the back. So Jeff King for the Pirates. Eric Anthony for the Astros. Tossing the bat there. Danny Turtable. Let's go. Yeah, this these cards are going to be great for the team set. These cards are great. There's another duplicate Gerald Williams. Oh, here we go. Tim Salmon. 
10 of 20 on the rookies. Yay. It'd be cool if we could actually get the full set. Uh, and that's not, they're stuck together here. So let's see if we can get these apart without too much trouble. There we go. There, there was another of the rookies. Maybe we'll give away all these, the rookies. Tim Salmon, Gold Leaf Rookies. Pretty cool, pretty cool card. Yeah, dude, look at this. Like two completely different shots front and back. Where the back is honestly better than some freaking modern card, man. That's insane, right? That is just insane. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. That'd be cool if we could pull the complete set of the rookies. Right now we've got Tim Salmon and Will Gordon. Ooh, hey. Throw them on the floor, why don't you? But back to the pack. Marquise Grissom. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Darren Jackson for the Padres. Frank Castillo. Mois, Mois, Moises Alou. I can't remember how you pronounce his name. Just Tony Pena. Let's go. Cal Eldred. Todd Stottlemyer. And then a Travis Fryman. All right, all right. I'm going to do one or two more packs, and then I'm going to go ahead and readjust my setup here um, a little bit so I can be comfortable for this goody rip tonight. Again, we've got the three boxes of Topps Big League that we're going to rip. If you're interested in the Wemby, the Wemby is actually in my eBay store. Go to eBay and look for Get Good Dad. Uh, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. There's a picture of it. There are print lines on the back of this thing. It will not gem mint 10. But if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive Wemby, I got one for you. That microphone can go out of the way. I don't need that. All right, all right. So we'll do one more pack here, and then I'm going to readjust my set. Da, 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 da. I really like these packs. And there's our boy Frank. There's a Frank Thomas somewhere in here, I hope. I don't know if they were per the box or anything like that. Uh, I suppose I could ask Junk Wax Heroes, but uh, we shall see. So here's another Steve Avery. Another duplicate. Tommy Green. Oh! Used to have a nice corner. Darren Kyle for the Astros. Lee Smith. For the Cardinals. Mark Lemke for the Braves. Holy mackerel. These are all just like crazy stuck together. <laughs> uh, this Fleer stuff, man, is notorious for that, wasn't it, though? I mean, I mean, I'm not going to pull these too hard because I don't want to damage them. I think a little bit of heat is what you really need on this. That heat, heat would loosen up the uh, heat would loosen up the adhesive or and not adhesive, but whatever it is that's causing it to stick. I think, I think, I think, I think. So here's a Denny Nagel for the Pirates. Another Oral Hershiser for the Dodgers. Great little shot there. Yeah, see how you're pulling it? We're, we're actually destroying, we're ruining some of these cards. We may have to think about something, a different way to do this if they stick too much like this pack did. Mark Lemke there. I mean, I don't think there's anything super, super valuable in here, but I'd hate to, you know, ruin something. Uh, what is this? Oh, that was just Todd Hundley turned around. Oh, because I was flipping cards around. Yeah, see. Ooh, well, how do we do that? Because I don't want to, I'm probably not going to open up any more of these because I really don't want to screw up a potential good card if there's anything in here. Again, I don't really care too much about value as much as I just do like not screwing up cards. But yeah, we're, we're not going to do this. Um, we're probably done opening that box just because I don't want to screw up the card. So here's what I'm going to do. Eight minutes, uh, eight folks left. We're at about 6.45. Let me see if I can switch this up. Over here, ba 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 ba. 
switch over to that view. Hey, what's up, folks? So Mike Vanderpool, a.k.a. Get Good Dad, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put a message out here. Uh, be back at 650. I'll be back at 650 to rock and roll. Uh, that'll give me like five minutes to go like adjust some of this stuff here, water, everything else. Kind of set up the space, set up the spots. Can I actually, don't want to remove that one. Can I go here? But that's just that view. Uh, da, 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 da. Can I go solo layout on this one? Oh yeah, there we go. So we can do something like that. Cool, and that's what we'll use for the duck races and when we share our screen. So here's what we're gonna do, folks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and right now it is seven, or sorry, 6.44. I'm going to go ahead and get some things prepared here. Uh, I got the shot ready over there. Uh, I got the giveaways ready. I'm going to make sure I've got water. I'm going to make sure I've got a garbage bag because this produces a lot of garbage doing this type of rip. And then uh, I think when I get back at 650, we'll go ahead and set up the duck race for the free spot. Somebody's winning a free spot tonight. And right at 750, we're going to do that duck race. That person will have their spot. And then we're just going to rock and rip. Cool. All right. So I will be back. Uh, Jeremy, the Aquila, anybody that's out there, if you want to kind of entertain, say hi to folks uh, after these messages. We'll be right back.
All right, all right, folks. What is up? What is up? Can you hear me now? Is this thing on? Rock and roll, rock and roll. Hey, Tony, if you can hear me, it's all good, man. Just appreciate the support. Appreciate the support. So here we go. Uh, we are going to be rock, ropping. We're going to be ripping Tops Big League 2024 tonight. Cool, cool, cool. We can put those up. Back, yeah. One, two, three boxes. Those are all sold in spots. Uh, I went ahead and swapped out the packs. We were we were ripping some of that 1993 Leaf Series One, but those cards stuck together pretty bad. I wonder how bad these will stick together. Oh my goodness! Because I think this Clear Ultra stuff is that same type of paper and sticky too. I can't even open the ding dong on pack. I need scissors for this. There's some cool stuff in these packs, though, but yeah, I think... Oh, no, these these are actually not sticking, so there's an Edwin Nunez. Mark Wohlers. Still wish the name of the player was brighter. What's the most important thing? I can tell from the uniform the name of the player, or the, the name of the team, but I just wish that the player name was brighter. There's Jack Morris after he left the Tigers. Jack Morris in 1984 Tigers. That was kind of when I came up as a... A little bit of a baseball fan. Glenn Allen Hill, sweet, sweet, sweet. Lee Stevens. So when I'm ripping the big league, this is the position it's going to be, and this is what you'll see. Franklin Stubbs, cool, cool, cool. Mike Henneman for the Detroit Tigers. Off to a great start this year. There's a sexy-looking Andre Dawson card. Scott Sanderson for the New York Yankees. And Bill Pacoda. Cool, cool, cool. Ivan Calderon. Jacob Brumfield and Jeff King. Yeah, these cards are super, super dope. These will be nice for the team sets that I'm selling on eBay as well. And look at this. We, we were all excited because uh, 1993 Leaf gave us a different picture on the front and the back. Freaking 92 Fleer Ultra is like, hold my, hold my uh, whatever. We got three pictures of the players on these Dig Dag Doggone cards. And now... Modern days, it's a little ridiculous, right? I'm not going to complain about modern sports cards too much because they're they're doing some pretty cool stuff there as well. So if you are out there hanging out, please, please, please say hello. Hi, how are you? It's all good in the hood. You can rewatch. So this will be recorded live. Uh, hold on, Andrew. I'm not sure what you mean. Mean about claiming teams. You can always watch the replay. So that will be. This will be streamed live right now, but then it will also be. Hey, what's up, Fuhini? This will also be then kept live on the site. You'll be able to watch it uh, from here and as many times as you want. Help me make that sweet, sweet YouTube money. all that is left so Mets are gone yeah so if you're interested um, probably not uh... oof all right all right so let's go ahead and let's get the duck races set up here so I'm gonna pop over here for a second I'll go just like this can I do that? Yeah. Hey, folks, what is up? Mike Vanderpool, a.k.a. Get Good Dad. We're going to do this big league rip here tonight. I'm going to go ahead right now and uh, uh, do the duck race for the free spot. So uh, let's see. How can I do this? How can I do this in this setup? I'm trying a new little setup here, and we'll see. We'll see. I'll go ahead and present. Share that screen. I'll share. I guess I'll just share this tab. Uh, Jeremy, what's going to happen is, can I solo that? Hold on a second, Jeremy. Give me a second. Oh, I can go full screen, but it's the same size, so not a big deal. Uh, Jeremy, what's going to happen is we've got a few folks. We've got more, we've got like six teams left that nobody's claimed. So what I'll do is those of you who have like bottom teams, uh, you'll be able to, the team, pick from what teams are left and if we got to have a, a, a fight over it 
that's what we'll do. But um, speaking of teams remaining, so if we look here at the actual goodie rip, and maybe you can see this, maybe you can't. Let me zoom in a skosh. Right, so these are the spot left. Uh, we do have somebody who's getting a spot for the give you for, for reposting on X. That's what we're going to pick that spot right now. This person is going to get the very, very, very last remaining team. So uh, the way that we decided that we were going to do that is we were going to go over here to the post. Boom, 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 wherever it was. This post right here, right? I asked people to repost this for the spot. There are 89 people. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So I can come in here. Those of you who've seen my duck races before, the ones that we do kind of every night on YouTube at nine o'clock, if you want to come hang out with some cool people uh, with the chance to win some free cards, nine o'clock Wednesday night on YouTube, best thing you can do is subscribe. But we come in here then, and then we go to the Twitter picker. Oh my goodness. The Twitter picker. Boom, schlock, lock, boom. There we go, there we go. We'll load that tweet. Uh, we leave everything kind of as the default here because, because we will go to continue. And this gives us our list of one, well, up to 100 but it's going to be like 88 people. So if I come in here, highlight everybody. What's up, Chris? Warm it up, Chris. I'm about to warm it up, Chris. This might go a little bit slower because I'm trying a whole bunch of different stuff. So 86, you do remember it was 89 at the beginning, um, but I think they counted my reposts. So yeah, everybody who's messaging me and reminding me on Twitter and everything else, yeah, we're all, we're going to rock and roll this slowly. It's going to start slow, but then we'll pick up speed as we sort everything out. My biggest concern is making sure that we do everybody right versus doing everybody fast. Um, that's what she said. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and we'll add just another sheet. I'll do what I usually do. Control shift V that'll add in all the Twitter names. I can come in here then and do the data. I'm even using a new mouse right now. So like everything I'm doing is all just going to take me a little bit more time. So if you, if I'm doing anything wrong, yell at me, please, please, please. So, uh, you know, I screw up on the regular, uh, then we'll go to data, data cleanup. And if you're interested, I can teach you in a course in Excel, remove the duplicates, 88 ducks for the pond. We'll come in here and we'll just grab all these names. And again, we're not doing heats tonight. None of that nonsense. We're going to run one race. That person will get the last spot in the rip. And then we will be ready to rock and roll. So control C, we'll load up the pond. Boom, shalak, lock, boom. Edit the list. Select everybody, delete everybody. I'm going to see if I can zoom that in at some point. Again, I'm trying this vertical layout. Uh, Roberto Blake told me I should just to see if we can get some people interested in shorts watching this stuff. So there are our names. The pond is full three minutes left. Let me see if I can switch this here. So here's where we're at folks. Uh, and try to do this as quickly as possible. I grab my water. Not necessarily as quickly as possible, but as clearly as possible. So tonight we're going to be doing a goodie rip for 2024 Tops Big League Baseball. we got three boxes to rip. People have already purchased spots. I'm not going to let anybody new eh, scratch that. We will be getting things rocking and rolling promptly at 7. Uh, I've got people who are messaging me on social media. Uh, I'm going to probably stop paying attention to that after I check things here. Uh, so somebody just sent me $21. That's cool for Cleveland and the Cubs. You're in sweet, sweet, sweet. So Cleveland and the Cubs are off the board. 
<laughs> That's dope, Jeremy. Yeah, I, I, you know, you guys know I just truly, truly, truly appreciate you having me on in the background, yo. Uh, the Big Jagoos just picked up Cleveland and the Cubs. Cleveland and the Cubs are gone. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. 7.5. Seven point five. Appreciate that. Um, what else is out there? Uh, so you're in. Uh, me, red eye. Yep. Uh, me, red eye. You've Jeremy. You've got one of the teams that are left. Uh, if we look, and I can share that screen again now. This will start to make sense. Um, boom, 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 boom. If we do that, uh, if you look here, so the big Jagoos just bought these two spots. Let me zoom that out just a scope. The big Jagoos just bought the Cleveland and the Cubs. These are all the other people who have spots. Uh, me, Red Eye, you've got uh, this spot right here that will fill. Same as Taco Long John. Taco Long John, you also have a spot just of one of the leftover teams. So basically what will happen, uh, Taco and me, uh, when we're ready to rock and roll, whatever teams are left, which pretty much should be now, uh, you'll get to choose between Miami, Twins, Giants, and Nationals. But before you pick your team, let me, let me just make sure everything's crystal clear. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is already – well, it's 7 o'clock right now, so we're going to do this duck race right now. We've got a Gibby spot for people who reposted on X, my wonderful post from X, wherever we can find it, somewhere in here, right? We posted this. We put that into the Twitter picker that gave us all the names. We put those names here into a spreadsheet. This will be available to you after the fact, as will the recording, if you ever want to check my math. We threw all those names into the pond. Here is everyone in the pond. There are 69 seconds. The winner of this duck race gets the very last spot in the goodie rip. Can somebody please give me a thumbs up to make sure I'm not insane? Or at least that, you know, <laughs> I'm doing what I should be doing at this point in time. All right, all right. Can we go ahead and boom, boom, boom. Can somebody give me a thumbs up? Por favor. There we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Fohini. I appreciate that. Rock and roll. 69 seconds left. Go, duck, go. Uh, Fohini, let me know. Can you hear the ducks quacking? Uh, Big Jagoos jumping out in front with that lime green zigzag variation. Charles Seitman, uh, ground control to major 85. Ryan Peoples, ICU. Beer barrel breaks. Really cool. 31. J Temp 44. Lots of action back and forth already in this race. Uh, everybody who is here, appreciate the reposting appreciate the support you know i'm just trying to build a community of people who don't want to overspend on cars and still have a good time how's that for a deal lose one cheek not two 29 seconds left jdc taurus 7 8 46 duck moving in on the outside ryan people's holding strong aaron in texas deep in the heart of the middle of the pack but now falling back quickity quack 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 Peachy, yeah, 15 seconds left. The Big Jagoos still hanging out there. The Big Jagoos just bought the last spots. Maybe they're getting that purchase mojo rocking and rolling. Virgilio Logan, or Logan Virgilio, depending on which way you're looking at it. Taco Long John IC, but out of the back of the pack. Can he take it over? No, Aaron Scholtek taking it down. Aaron Scholtek, you get the spot. And you hear no ducks. Boo. All right, so Aaron, we'll let Aaron know. Uh, I can do that by coming in here and we'll search for this. Aaron, not Aaron Large. It was close. It was, if your name was Aaron, you had a chance. Uh, free spot or free team, we should call it because I was saying spots were two teams. Um, all right, all right. So Aaron is going to get the free team. So what that means is uh what that means is uh jeremy and boop, 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 boop. let me go here switch the layout sorry actually let's not switch the layout jeremy uh which of these four teams do you want 
And Taco Long John, are you out there? Because if you're not out there, uh, I'm just going to pick the team for you. So, but if you're here, I'll let you pick it. So, Jeremy, which one of these um, four teams do you want? And the way that this is going to work, we'll go ahead and Jeremy, I'm just going to throw that up into into X for you. That way, I can actually have the screen here. What we're going to do. Boom, shalak, lock, boom, up on top. And I'll message you on X. I'm going to go ahead and also let, oh, I'll, I'll pick. All right, do you, I, I won't tell you. <laughs> How's that? Uh, I think you can see the spreadsheet though, right? So me, red eye, there you go. And then taco, there you go. And then I'm eating two teams on this break or on this rip. Don't call it a break, Mike. It's a rip, a goodie rip. So I'm going to be eating two teams on this rip. Uh, let's go over right now, and I guess I should go back to sharing the screen so you can see. One last thing before we actually start ripping here. Yep, you'll be able to see it here in a second. Uh, Fohini, did you have a free spot? Oh, Fohini, you did, didn't you? Yep, Fohini, you get one of these eat spots. Sorry. Oh, the Red Sox are also available. So, Fohini, uh, your free spot, because, sorry, thanks for reminding me, duh. Uh, Boston Red Sox, Giants or Nationals, Fohini, which one do you want? I can make that a little bit bigger. Red Sox, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, I like it. Fohini, that's not how you spell that at all. Uh, you know me, I can't ever get like comfortable doing what I'm doing or I'm always adjusting things. So I've got like a completely brand new setup for every other time I've done this and, uh, it's caused me a little bit of T R O U B L E, but let's go ahead and look and look at the spots here real fast. Uh, taco long, John, you have, the reds, the Mariners and the twins. Me, Red Eye, you've got quite a few teams here. This will be the last time I kind of have to do this up and down scrolling just because i got to fill in the blank there. Uh, again, yell at me if anything's wrong here, but we'll confirm before I ship these. Uh, me, Red Eye, you've got Orioles, Dodgers, Yankees, Marlins, Astros, and Phillies. Uh, don't mind this free stuff over here um, and, and numbering. That's just me trying to see how much money I'm losing on this rip. Uh, Jimmy269, you've got the White Sox and the Blue Jays. Fohini, you've got the Gibby spot, and yes, I do have to do this again. Uh, pa, 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 pa. Pa, pa, pa. You've got the Red Sox. Boom, schlock, lock, boom. Detroit Hawkeye Chris, you've got the Tigers, Angels, Royals, and Padres. Dad of three cards fans has the Cardinals. Eric H, you've got the Braves, Brewers, Rays, Rangers, and Diamondbacks, and Mets. And Evan uh, Emo, you've got Oakland A's and Pittsburgh Pirates. Big Jagoos, you've got um, Cleveland Guardians, Chicago Cubs. Me, Red Eye, those are your other. We've already moved those. Uh, I'm eating the Giants and the Nationals. And unless Aaron, if Aaron Shotek, you're here, uh, you're actually going to get the Rockies. I think that makes sense. Cool, cool. Hey, what's up, Wendy? How you doing? Does all of that make sense for everybody, like this list? Somebody give me a thumbs up because I, I think I'm ready to rip. And again, everything is going to be recorded. Everything will be confirmed before. Come on. Uh, everything will get confirmed before it goes out. So th this is the way it'll work for the people that, out there at home. I'm going to open these packs up tonight. Uh, anything that is worth sleeving, we'll sleeve. Everything will be sorted over the next day or two. And then they will go out Wednesday. Uh, they'll, they'll be packaged together on Wednesday, put in the mail, and go out on Thursday morning after the Wednesday night duck races. So those of you that don't know me, get good dad and like Vanderpool. I like ripping sports cards. I like hanging out, doing fun things, trying to build a community on X. Happy Easter to you too, Wendy. X is the place where I'm doing a lot of the interaction. There's some really great interaction, really great community around sports cards there. 
I'm doing this rip stuff on YouTube. So subscribing here helps me watching my videos helps me. I'm trying to basically monetize YouTube so I can afford ripping more sports cards to give away to you. Like that's the circle that I would love to be able to build here. We'll also maybe trying to find a way to make some scribble scratch myself. Um, so we do those duck races Wednesday night at nine o'clock. Uh, the enter the giveaway we do through reposting a post on X. We also do giveaways for folks watching live. So tonight we're also going to do things for anybody watching live out there. Anybody coming in live, you have a chance to win a card tonight. Basically, after we rip this first box, then we're going to do a giveaway for people watching live. People uh, after the second box, we're going to do a giveaway. And then after the third box, we'll do a giveaway for people watching live. And right now, this may change, but at least for right now, this is what I've got for the giveaways. Uh, it's a 1992 Ken Griffey upper deck and a 91 Fleer. Or maybe that's a 91. Yeah, it's a 91 upper deck. And then a freshly packed pulled Bo Jackson uh, out of 89 Fleer. So cool cards, cool cards. I'm um, probably going to throw in something else just based on how I feel, but at least that's the way we're going to start out with the giveaway for the people watching live. Every time I go live doing duck races, we do a giveaway for people watching live. All right. All right. So what do you think? Everybody, are we good to start opening up this big league stuff? Let me switch the camera angle over there. Boom, boom, boom. You probably don't even need me at all, do you? Nobody wants to see me anymore. Here we go. Here we go. Can everybody confirm that I'm not losing my mind and we're set up to run this thing properly? <laughs> I need to build a checklist. And yes, uh, Wendy, to second that emotion, yes, happy Easter to everybody. Happy Sunday to everybody. Happy Goody Rip to everybody who is involved. If I can get one single thumbs up up in the chat, I'm ready to rip this 2024 Big League Baseball from Tops. Uh, eight packs. Sorry, eight cards per pack, 18 packs per box. There are some pretty cool inserts in here. Uh, there's a, uh, the Let's Go Chrome is is super, super dope. I'd love to pull that for somebody. I opened one of these boxes myself. There's a video up of it on YouTube. And uh, Dad, thank you for the thumbs up. Evan, thanks for the thumbs up. I'll uh, open up and go, cat, go. All right, so how's everybody's baseball teams doing to start the season? My Tigers are three and zero. Just swept the White Sox. Not sure if that's a, a really <laughs> that's impressive of an achievement, but you know what? It's a long season, and if you can start good, why not? No matter who it's against. Empty box, eighteen packs. Again, I've got my sorting tray over there to the side, so we're gonna go. We're going to go here. Can you guys see everything? Yeah, there we go. All right, so Tops Big League. Yes, Tigers are on a mission. Colt Keith is not starting out well, but you know what? Kerry Carpenter got a nice uh, RBI today. So I am going to talk through a little bit about what I know with Big League. Uh, some of the conversation on X people are asking questions. It'll go a little bit slow here at the beginning, but uh, as we get into the next box, we'll kind of move a little bit faster. But there is a foil card included in each pack. This pack has Anthony Rizzo from the New York Yankees. Oh, hey, there we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And our first insert on the back, To the Moon. And that is, what is that, Mookie Betts? This To the Moon insert is really, really dope. I like it a lot. Max Scherzer, Davis Schneider, Brandon Nemo for the Mets, Jonathan India for the Reds, Ryan McMahon for the Rockies and Gray Kessinger for the Houston Astros. Uh, just kind of stack those things up. There are autographs in here. I know Frank Thomas has an autograph. I think there's some other cool cards in here as well. I'm really excited for the Frank Thomas autograph because my friend Jimmy has a spot here. So there's the foil card. And then we have Good Vibrations. That's one of the inserts. We'll see that in a second here. Tony Kemp for the A's, Tyler Glass now for the Dodgers, Alex Spees, Texas Rangers, Jason Hayward, what is up, what is up, Freddie Peralta, Andrew Vaughn, and then this Good Vibrations card. This is Luis Arez for the Miami Marlins. Uh, just a base standard insert, but Good Vibrations, pretty cool, pretty cool insert here. So, Evan, who's your team at 4-0? And how'd you guys play four games already? Are you a Dodgers fan? Should 
Should we talk about Showgate? I can talk about anything. I don't know if me reading off all the names is that exciting, but we can definitely figure something to talk out, talk about. I do like Big League as a set, if I'm being honest, other than what we're going to see here probably in a second, maybe. Uh, the Big League set, they do a really nice job of uh, putting the emphasis on the player. And I do like, you know, I was just ranting about this with some of those older sets. Being able to read the player name is so, so, so important to me, for me. Uh, is me holding the cards here, is this a good way to hold them? Can you guys see everything really nice like that? Again, this whole vertical scrolling is a little bit different from anything I've done before. So here we go. We have a mascot card. Yankees swept the Astros. Wow. A mascots. So here we go. Blue Jays, you're getting a mascot card, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. The other thing that I uh, know is going on is the – all right, thanks, Wendy. The other thing that we know that's going on is obviously the NCAA tournament. I've got some college cards that I put up for sale on my eBay store here over the past couple of days. Uh, I ripped some college and, you know, it's, it's all right stuff. It's nice stuff. I don't know if it's ever going to have that prospect. I don't know if we want it to have the, the prospect kind of market or intensity or feel that the baseball prospect stuff does. But the Bowman, I love the Bowman product. If I'm being honest, the Bowman University product, I, I, I enjoy ripping it. All right, all right. Speaking of ripping, here we've got a card turns backwards for Kodai Senga. What does that mean? All right, so two things going on. We've already seen a good vibrations. Congratulations, Dodgers. Mookie Betts has got some cool cards tonight. So we do have this blue foil, sorry, blue foil variation that we will find in Topps Big League. I pulled the, uh, and this will get sleeved here. This is, in the higher numbers, these are the actual, air quotes, base card. So the variations have a separate number from the actual card. So these we will put in sleeves. Um, most everything else at this point doesn't need to go into a sleeve. That's kind of one of the nice things. Big League isn't this crazy high-dollar product. Again, I'm taking care of it. I'm building stacks, putting them in my nice Titan Shield trays that I use for sorting when I do this type stuff. NC State up late over Duke. Yeah, who are your college teams that you're riding with? The standard foil Jack Gallon. I um, we should probably put that down, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh, da, 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 Corey Seager. Javier Baez for the Tigers. He's pretty polarizing uh, for people if you don't know about Detroit. Uh, so I'm not very excited about him at this point. Bobby Miller, and here is another insert. This I, okay, congratulations, Mar Mariners. Uh, now I'm about to crap on your your card. <laughs> I forgot this. It's I love the idea of this card. I absolutely love the idea of this style insert. I just don't like the 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 cartoon should be better, right? The cartoon should be better. There should be some foil on this, and and it does say fun box on the back. <laughs> Uh, but that's a pretty cool insert. Again, I just, I think last year's inserts, I uh, can't remember what they were exactly called, but they were better, but they were definitely better. So that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Byron Buxton. Uh, there is no guarantee. Oh, there we go. Uh, for the Royals, Bobby Witt Jr. These two, the moon cards are really, really nice. I'm hoping that that's what we pull our auto in. Again, there's no guarantee of an auto, but with three boxes and me having already opened one and not gotten an, gotten an auto, I've got to think that maybe uh, maybe we're at least owed at least two, if not three, out of the three boxes we have left. And they're good autos. There's actually a Nolan Ryan auto in this product. If you're not, if you didn't know that, Brent Rooker. There's a Paul Goldschmidt. There you go, dad of three. Paul Goldschmidt for, uh, well, I think he's one of your son's favorite players, right? To the moon. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate that. Tony, uh, hopefully the cards I'm sending in the mail today jog out that uh, Isaiah Spiller and it gets you. Ooh, look at this rookie pack. One, two, three rookies in a row. All rookies. So, And everything does, and it ended with a rookie there. Uh, what's that line? Is it a print line on that card? Yeah, that's really one of the first quality issues I've seen. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, is that? Yeah, something's weird there. 
I think. Oh no, that's not a call. That's the freaking wall. <laughs> they fade out the background and that background is the wall. So yeah, I'm an idiot. We have more documented proof that I am a jack wagon. We've gotten quite a bit of to the moons out of this first box here. And we will start to pick up the pace as we go. I'll probably rip like all the packs and just kind of shuffle through the cards. We'll see what's happened. Yeah, that card is pretty cool, isn't it? Anthony. Hey, look at this. How about if we get everybody a freaking to the moon? There's that Gunnar Henderson. That's a pretty dope card, too. Let's go. Let's go. Mookie Betts. Some more rookies. Hey, Ellie De La Cruz. All right, we're gonna we'll we'll eh, we'll sleeve Ellie up. We Cincinnati hit Ellie De La Cruz. That's the first one I've seen of him out of this pack. That's not to say the other inserts aren't worth sleeving. Um, but I'm taking pretty good care of the cards right now. And again, they're not million dollar cards. Uh, so we'll just uh, make sure we play, handle them with care. All right. So Cincinnati on the board with a decent, it's just base, but you know what? I don't know what they're going for. Maybe they're going for a, for a dollar, give or take. I know I sold his uh, series, series one card for, for more than a dollar. So I got to imagine his big league, there'll be less of them printed. Uh, there's a nice little Gunnar Henderson foil. Hey, look at there, Cardinals. Let's go to head of three. We'll see that one at the end. With Maryfield, there's a Julio. Me and Julio down by the schoolyard. I can dig it. Brett. Jorge. Acuna. I love this. Oh, sorry. I'm kind of far away. Acuna. Acuna. Great looking card. Chris Bryant, and then here we go. Mason Wynn. Mason Wynn for the Cardinals. Again, I like the idea of the card. The art style is just a little sketch for me. Or not sketch, but just I'm not a fan of that art style. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Keep on rocking and rolling. Don't forget, after this first box, we'll go ahead and uh, do that rip for folks watching live. So give me a few. When we get down to when we get down to three packs, that's when I'll ask for people to uh, give me their their handles, and then we'll do get ready for for the live uh, or the rip for the live people. Well, there's another Oriole that's going to hit at the back of this pack: Lawrence Butler, Henry Davis, Wade Melker, Justin Turner, Cedric Mullins, Gunner. Look at this! <laughs> this is a, a Orioles pack. Adley Rushman on the, I think that's just the regular Good Vibrations, Gunnar Henderson, Cedric Mullins. And you said, uh, did somebody say what the O's are doing? Two and one, Wendy? That's pretty good. I mean, how did, tell me this, Wendy, how in the frick, or anybody, how in the frick did Leak did uh, the Orioles end up with so many good young players? I mean, is there a farm system? It must be, right? That's a cool card. Here we go. There we go. Another to the moon for Henry Davis. There's a Jason Dominguez rookie. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I like pulling rookies. So if I'm going to be 100% honest, I really like last year's. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? I mean, baseball, your farm system, your development is is what the most important thing um ellie de la cruz to the moon that's a cool card that's a cool card is that what it is Fohini? yeah it makes sense i mean that's you gotta have prospects you gotta have depth and the only way to build depth is through prospects right I mean, that's a super cool card, man. That's a super, super, super cool card. Uh, and you know what? I screwed that up. I screwed that card up for you. Sorry. We'll figure it out. Who has the reds? Who has the reds? You think they're going to win at Fohini? Sorry, I got to switch over. I got to look at something. Who has the reds? Uh, Taco, you're not out here, are you? All right. I just I just screwed up Taco's card. I just dinged it. 
I dinged the corner on that Ellie, and I feel like a jack wagon, but we'll take care of it. We'll make sure that we take care of it. All right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Devin Williams on the standard foil. And there we go. We've got a mascot for the Brewer. Uh, sorry, Braves coming up. There's a Miguel Cabrera. Hey, there's the Become the Big Leaguer card. We didn't talk about what we were doing with the Become the Big Leaguer card. Maybe we uh, give that away. We, is that one of the things we duck race for? for? From everybody who's in the actual rip. Yeah, I think we'll duck race for that. Let's duck race for that card. And there is Blooper, the mascot for the Atlanta Braves. Does that make sense, anybody watching, that that's how we do it? Why isn't that? There it is. Cool, 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 cool. I mean, Orioles have decent pitching. I guess that's always the question. You know, you can have all the power in the world, but it's it's at the uh, – doesn't matter till the um, – if you can't hit – if you can't pitch in the playoffs, can't hit in the playoffs. We go some more rookies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Parker medals for the Tigers. Let's go. Your Owen, your three no Tigers, and then a Ronald Acuna Jr. All right, all right. Let's go. We gotta hit an auto in this box. I, I can't believe I'd go 0 for two on autos. Again, the first box I kind of ripped for myself, wanted to make sure that I had some uh, exposure to the cards, experience with the cards. Ooh, that something feels something feels different in here. Something feels different in here. Maybe I'm just, yeah, I'm an idiot. Just that Corbin Burns on the back. Mm, three packs left. Okay, folks. So here we're going to do, here we're going to go. Yeah. I mean, pitching, if you can't, if you can't pitch, you're screwed. Especially in the playoffs. All right. So three packs left. Here's what we're going to do, folks. Uh, we're going to do a duck race for this Ken Griffey uh, Jr. card out of 1991 um, uh, Fleer. Uh, I'll need your handle. So if you're watching live, please throw your handle into the chat. After we're done ripping these three packs, which will end this first box, then we'll go ahead and do the duck race for the folks watching live. So please, please, please give me your Twitter handle in the chat. So I'm using Titan Shield to sort the cards. Titan Shield is a really dope um, product that I've found. Nice and sturdy. Uh, makes sorting cards easy. You can buy a 30 set or a, a set of two, each with 15, so for 30 spots. So it works okay for baseball. But again, comes up short with uh, football because with 32 teams there. So here we go. Here we go. A couple more rookies. Orioles doing fairly well. And there's the mascot, Billy the Marlin, for the Miami Marlins. All right. So, yeah, I see some of those names in there. That's cool. That's cool. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're not going to stack them. We're just going to rack them. That'll be, make it go faster, too. Boom, 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 boom. There's a new face on the back of this pack. So Emerson Hancock, Lane Thomas, Austin Wells. There we go. And Junior Caminero in the uh, Big League Good Vibrations. So last pack, holy mackerel, folks. I'll be a little surprised if we don't hit an auto in this box. I thought that you're supposed to get an auto. Ah, stop desk. No, there's, there's no guaranteed autos in this product. I mean, that's one of the things that you're not paying for, right, is that non-guaranteed auto. So last pack of this box, uh, this would be box number two, where I don't even hit like a anything kind of cool. But we shall see. Our luck can change on the dime. Thin stock inside of this one. So we shall see. We shall see. Some rookies, another Corbin Carroll. Cool, cool, cool. Mike Trout. Yeah, so wow, another box without anything too exciting. But we did get, well, every box is going to have one of these big leagues. So we're going to give three away of those at the end. But that's the second box where we didn't hit anything of real substance. Yikes. Yikes. 
Yikes. All right, so let's go ahead. How am I gonna do this the easy way? Uh, we're just gonna go over to the pond. And once you're in the pond once, uh, sorry, I probably need to share the screen, don't I? Here we go, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, if you're in the pond once, you will be in the pond for all three races. So bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and uh, type here. I am typing one-handed because I just changed my setup. But Jay Williams, we've got you in the pond. Dad of three, we got you in the pond. Congratulations so far. You, I mean, you've done better than – Cardinals have done better than almost anybody else. Fohini, I've got you. Uh, Emo, Evan, I've got you. Eric, Henke, I got you. Cool, 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 cool. Speaking of cool, uh, Wendy, I've got you. So is there anybody else out there watching that needs to get into the pond here? Again, this will be giving away for me, Red Eye, I got you. This is the giveaway for the Ken Griffey Jr. card. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, seven names in the pond. We got we got 16 people watching this. Are you sure? You don't have to actually be into the rip in order to get into this. If you're just watching live, just give us your Twitter handle, your X handle, and you'll be entered into the uh, rip or into this uh, duck race for this Ken Griffey Jr. card. Hey, Cam, what's up, dude? Cam, did you get the picture of me? I sent out more of your cards or some of your last cards. Those will be in the mail. Hopefully get there sooner rather than later so but uh um yeah the we ripped our first box we're doing a giveaway for folks watching live then we're gonna rip our second box giveaway third box giveaway and man if we don't if we don't pull some heat out of these next two boxes uh we may have to um uh change our name hey chris what's up so here we go here we go detroit hawkeye my daughter's uh turning into a huge caitlin clark fan is pretty cool all right so nine ducks in the pond for the ken griffey jr card going once going twice three times a lady we're gonna go ahead ready set shuffle these up somebody give me a thumbs up if we're good to go i'm gonna go ahead and put this into an envelope ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. Bought team bags today, so that's cool. That's cool. Somebody give me a thumbs up. I'm just going to run it. We don't have time to mess around. Oops. Boom. Duke is down by 10. Yuck. Yuck. I don't know. Do I have any Duke card players' cards for sale? I mean, that's kind of <laughs> that's how I'm judging college basketball at this point. <laughs> all right. All right. Congratulations to everyone for her. Well, not winning yet, but uh, just having a chance. A duck in a chair is what they say all you need in this world to, to potentially hit something pretty cool. Ken Griffey Jr. Fleer 1991 card. And yeah, everybody who's out there watching, uh, just take this opportunity to thank you all for supporting what I'm trying to do. It's pretty nice. Um, see every you know people show up on the regular uh support through spending money on these things um it's just pretty cool and i appreciate you so thank you 10 seconds left jeff williams playing jane duck number one out in front but who is going to take it from the back of the pack what's up what's up wendy what's up wendy really cool really cool that Wendy won. So what we'll do in here, we'll come in here really cool. We'll edit the list. Boom, 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 boom. And then we will uh, just on the same sheet, make that go away. Scroll all the way up. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 bam. And we'll just continue to add to this. Uh, Wendy, you got the 91 Griffey. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Congratulations, Wendy. Thank you for hanging out and participating. I'm going to go ahead and write just your handle on the card. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And we'll be doing two more of those. All right, so now I'm going to have to heat up here. I got to do something. Holy flip did he flew, folks. Yeah, here we go, Wendy. That'll be your card. It'll come eventually. Armalopes. Uh, if you're looking to ship cards, Armalopes, dude, 
and do that. Uh, hit me up. I've got a link and I can, I, I'm an affiliate for Armal Open. If you buy product from them, I get free product. I don't think they pay money, but you get free product and that's just as good as money, right? Especially if you <laughs> use and believe in their products. And those Armal Lopes are super, super dope. Speaking of super dope, the card that I'm going to pull out of this box is going to be super dope. That's two boxes, no autos. Uh, you're not guaranteed an auto. That's the one thing. Um, we haven't hit uh, a red foil yet, and we haven't hit a gold foil. Those are the super rare and legendary cards. So we're looking for a red foil or a gold foil card. Uh, there are one of one cards, and there are black foil parallels. So we haven't even hit one of those yet either. There are the Let's Go Chrome cards. Those are probably the coolest cards, coolest looking. And then there are autographs. Um, but again, we're not guaranteed autographs with this product, which is why it is less expensive. But it's less expensive than Series 1. But honestly, the math is getting really close to where this isn't worth it from a, I don't want to say investment perspective, but but a per card cost perspective in relation to potential hits. So with series one, there's bigger hits available, I think, um, being flagship. With this product, there's still hits available, but for what you're paying, your card cost per card is only separated by like, I think 10 cents at this point, if not less. So there's eight packs, I'm sorry, 18 packs, eight cards per pack. Last three, that's when we'll call for the uh, Quiggy Quack, more ducks for the pond. So Wendy, what is up? NC State one going to a final four for the first time since 83. I think that's cool, right? We like to have teams like Oakland and, and some teams. Wait, was NC State? That's not Jimmy V, is it? Velvano? Oh, shit, that water can't go there. I'm going to spill that at some point, and then we're going to have a mess. All right, are we cool to move on, folks? Stick and move, stick and move. Second box of Big League. Man, oh, man. Got to pull some fire. Would like to pull some fire. So, Yanni Diaz, we will go faster here as we move on. And there is a Zach Giloff to the moon. Everything will ship here, folks. Everything that you see. Uh, if we'll, I'll call out any of like the Ellie's or the Dominguez or is there Langford in this product? I know, or an Evan Carter. There, there should be an Evan Carter in here. I haven't seen one of those yet. So we'll call out some of the stuff. Uh, we'll start with the back of the pack and then just shuffle through. There's a Ha Sung Kim in that foil. And then a Mookie Betts, lots of Mookie Betts. You'll probably have every single Mookie Betts from this set by the time we're done here. Some more rookies. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, lots of rookies in that pack. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, all right. Here we go. Rafael Devers. And then there's a Julio Rodriguez. Cool, cool, cool. The Tops Big League. I believe that's just called, is that just called Big League? Yeah, the Big League. That's the actual name of this card here. Yeah, Anthony, I haven't seen any of those, man. I or any of the Evan Carters. I think I did hit a Wang, Wangford. <laughs> Wangford. <laughs> Wangford. Uh, I did think I did hit a Langford in, oh, there's another Mason Wynn. Cool, cool, cool. Mason Wynn, you got a dupe of that, Anthony. Yeah, we'll have one for each of the kids by the time we're done tonight. And maybe one for you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we got to be careful. Oh, folks, be careful with that. That's my bad. Atlanta people will talk. This Austin Riley slid out because it isn't the same size. Uh, it's got that weirder cut. And it just slid out of the pack. So a total, total, total apologies there. Um, 
we'll make it right. But holy mackerel, that slid out like nothing. I don't think it, I mean, it might have bummed up the corner. It didn't even bum the corner. Where that card's cool. Probably should get the pad underneath here. Especially if you're going to, like, well, if I'm ripping anything different or better, I'll be a different situation. But I don't want to downplay big league, but it is just big league. Yeah, so when you're opening these, you want to be careful because this one has a to the moon in it. Boom, boom, boom. Junior Camarino. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That one's going to have to go into the sleeve. Nice. Yeah, you want to be real careful holding those. Uh, the other thing I want to be careful with, too, put that down. I don't know if you guys know this, and I would I think they make sleeves like this, but if you have the corner of the sleeve cut, it makes putting the cards in like a thousand times easier. A thousand times easier. Boom. You don't even come close to damaging the corner if you do it that way. Oh, that's a cool Jazz Chisholm card. Look at that. <laughs> that's a nice pose. Is that the... No. That's not the variation. That's just a regular foil-looking card. Uh, but that To the Moon for Kim Marino, that's a nice hit. Nice hit, nice hit. You did. See, I haven't gotten any of the dig doggone Evan, Evan Carters yet. Oh, you're welcome, Wendy. I mean, here's one of my goals is I'd love to just be able to do a rip of every product that comes out. Just one rip. <gasps> just one rip. That'd be a good uh, name for the website. And yes, everything will ship. Everything will ship. <laughs> Hey, what is up, Timothy? How are you doing? The large one in the house. Woo woo. Uh, you, you, I haven't hit spit tonight, just so you know. So you're here. Hopefully, you change our luck because I've just been hitting base and standard inserts. Nothing, nothing even that exciting at all. Oh, there's another Ellie De La Cruz. That's cool. And then a Jose Altuve. Nice little grin on our friend Jose. Altuve in the good vibrations. So yeah, we've already gone through one box and I haven't pulled anything other than your standard kind of your standard fare. Uh, the blue foil card that we pulled, can't remember who it was, but it wasn't anybody very exciting. We haven't seen any of the real big hits yet. Uh, and there's another, we got a dupe on a mascot card. Here we go. Another Miguel Cabrero. Oh, what's this Phil Necro turn backwards? Ah, <laughs> there we go. There's our gold. 308. Is this like, I think this is legendary status here, folks. We just pulled a legendary card of Phil Necro for the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves feasting tonight. <laughs> Let's go. That's what we needed. Timothy in the house. We just pulled our heater. <laughs> Speaking of heaters, Phil Necro. <laughs> uh, he was old when I was young. Oh, uh, it's fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. It's a cool looking card. Make sure we check out this gold. This is the first gold that I have pulled. And again, cutting the corner of the penny sleeve makes the card go in so much easier. There's, n If you cut the corner, there's really no chance that you're going to do any damage to that corner, as long as you're obviously careful. Uh, you can be careful with an uncut corner. It still causes a problem. Well, I mean, we got this guy. Hey, what's up, Tony? Tony, that's dedication, yo. <laughs> I'm not going to ask where you got the batteries from. No, no, no. You just are in time to see us pull some gold. Phil Necro, that's going to have to go in a sleeve. That's... That's a legendary card according to the checklist. And that's the first one I've seen pulled like that. Now, I don't know if that's a, a the potential only hit for a box. I don't know how it works. I'm hoping that we can maybe pull something else out of this bad mama jamma. Um, but, hey, that's something, and it's for the Braves. Cool, cool, cool. I do like... 100%. I do like last year's big league style better than this. 
while I do like the focus of the player on the card, I also know there's another junior Camarino, uh, Jason Dominguez. I just, I think there's too much going on in the background in these cards. I think there's too much going on in the background of these cards. They've done a really nice job with the depth of field and minimizing the background. So I don't necessarily mean the background behind the player. Well, thank you, Wendy. I appreciate that. I mean, that's really like, that's my whole inspiration for what I'm doing is I just want to do things like I would do them for myself, for other people. You're basically paying me to open up box packs of baseball cards. I mean, that's a little silly, right? <laughs> I appreciate it. But, uh, you know, just take care of the stuff. Hey, there's an Ellie De La Cruz. That's the first one of those I've seen. Um, sweet, sweet, sweet. But see, just the background around the frame. Not the uh, Well, it is the picture, but the, it's still a little too busy for me. Oh, here we go. Here's another card. That'll be a red one. And there's an Ellie De La Cruz. So we'll sleeve both of these up. But there's a Corey Seager for the Rangers in the red foil. That's super dope. All right, yeah, dude, Anthony, as soon as Anthony comes in, we're heating up. So uh, next rips, folks, we're not doing until Anthony's actually, I'm sorry, Timothy, Timothy, Timothy. I keep, I will consistently do that, Anthony and Timothy, for the rest of your lives. The amount of time, every time you come and show up, I will mix your names up because you both kind of came in at the same time and your, your names have the same amount of letters and end in the same sound. It's just my brain is screwed up, dude. So no, no, no offense. Don't mean to misname you, but uh, Timothy, everybody thank Timothy for coming here and showing up and helping us pull straight for big league fire. That's a super dope card. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I mean, this, yeah, this is a better box for sure. And we're only half, well, uh, no, we're, we're just over halfway through it. I will, I do want to pull one of those. Let's go, man. I think those let's go are, are the coolest cards in this, uh, set. These feel heavy sometimes. Oh, that had a, that had a to the moon in it. I didn't realize it. Um, Again, holding these when you pull them out by the middle will make it so that you don't drop it to the moon on the on the ground like I did like earlier, like a jack wagon. I think at a forty dollar price point for a box would be more realistic for the cards, honestly, price wise compared to series one. But again, there's just series one all up and down, all over the shelves everywhere. There's not so much of this. I would prefer to have this just because it's different. And there's another mascot card. Couple rookies. What is this? Another blue foil. Yeah, we're hitting the rainbow out of this pack. Atlanta just getting some color. Let's go ATL. ATL with some color. Again, we'll clip this. I do think that they make sleeves that have corners clipped on them i might have to see if i can source those from from somebody decent uh you know obviously they're penny sleeves and you can't spend a fortune on them but if it's just an extra penny for a cut corner i think that'd be the way that i would go that's a dope looking card so again the variations are the card if that makes sense so any card above i think 200 or 250 you'll get this blue uh above 300 you get this red and then above, I don't know, math is hard. Uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, you guys could look up checklists or, or uh, three cards. Tell them, uh, tell them about this stuff. You know better than I do. You should be doing this, this rip. Speaking of doing rips, the, my friend Bowtie Collectibles, if you saw him and I on whatnot the other day, he's doing uh, the channel that he's ripping or, <laughs> uh the channel thanks wendy uh oh yeah that's right you teach that's awesome uh the the channel that he is selling cards on on whatnot has just got approved or just set up breaking channel another acuna uh a breaking channel and 
were talking about breaking in. I just got approved on whatnot. I don't know what I want to do in all honesty. I, I don't want to be a breaker. That's not the goal at all. Not even close. The goal is to build up the YouTube and be able to like build some content around YouTube more on video, uh, more timely, less. There's Arenado, St. Louis doing well. Anthony, you got everybody. I think, didn't you get a Goldschmidt? I kind of got one, everybody here. So uh, folks, three packs left. Uh, what that means is we're going to go ahead and uh, take more Twitter handles into the chat. We're going to do another duck race here once we're done opening these three uh, packs. All right. So start. If, you, if you've already put your Twitter handle into the chat, don't do it again. We've got it. We don't need it. Uh, but if you, if you are new watching and if you'd like a chance to win, uh, we've got a ba, 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 uh, Bo Jackson pack fresh, horribly off centered card out of uh, Fleer 80. What is this? 89 Fleer. Yeah. Um, throw your, your X handle into the chat. If you want to follow me, X is the place to do it. We got three more packs here. We'll do another live duck race. Then we'll get the last box. Man, we might get shut out on autos. That would suck. That would really, really suck. We can't get shut out on autos. That's just not a possibility. Not a possibility. All right. But we did. I mean, still not going to complain here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Hey, what's up, Jake? How's it going? How's it going, Jake? Hey, and Timothy, better late than never, right? Uh, so there's a Eloy Jimenez. Francisco, there you go, Mets, Alvarez. So, yeah, we've pulled quite a few of the To the Moons. To the Moons, another Parker Meadows. But, man, where is our auto? Must just mean if we're only going to hit one auto, it's going to have to be a big one. The Spencer Torkelson fire, uh, foil, sorry, foil. And another duplicate on the mascot cards. Holy mackerel. Hey, hey, oh, and there's our become the big leaguer. So uh, what we're going to do with those, we'll have three of those by the end of the night. We're going to do duck races for everybody who bought into the rip. And then you will win and get the big league, become a big leaguer cards. So we'll give away those three. The duck racer for those variant too. So last pack of this box. Man, oh, man. Man, oh, man. Bryson Scott, Adley Rushman, insert on the back. Man, oh man, three boxes, no autos, guys and girls. Oh, that's freaking hard. Is that what the ratio is on these? Holy mackerel. Hey, what's up, Tommy? How are you doing? How are you doing, Tommy? Wow, Anthony. Can you believe how, how, how much I'm getting clobbered here? getting clobbered i mean not horribly i mean that box still had some pretty dope cards in here i'm just going to sort all my things so i make sure i'm ready to move forward after we do this next duck race here but yeah we got they're not they're no rookie well i guess the rookie here you know uh, uh ellie de la cruz that's probably at least a couple dollar card um this phil necro legendary they're cool cards but they're not rookies i don't know if anybody's gonna really carry too much in is that what it is Red and gold nicks the auto. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, I'd still probably rather have an auto, but uh, that box wasn't bad. That box was not bad. We're, he, we're heated up, so that just means we're going to pull one big dog out of this, but obviously I'd have rather pulled more big dogs because um, uh, then more people would have had cards. All right, so we'll go back to the pond, uh, and this is for the Bo Jackson uh let's go let's go who else do we have the large one anthony i'll get you in here uh slap we got you cool 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 on uh, slap since you're i think it's your first time i've seen you slap so hi welcome in i appreciate you hanging out uh again what we're about to do is a duck race for people that are watching live so if you're watching live you don't even have to be in the rip if you're watching live and want a chance at this, uh, I'm on X as always learn 24 seven. 
aka Get Good Dad, aka Mike Vanderpool, and I. Uh, that's where the best way to communicate. I'll throw in your Twitter handle, and I will uh, if you throw into the pond, and then you have the potential to win that Bo Jackson card. So we need to go over here though and share the screen. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Battery's pretty good. So yeah, uh, do I have everybody? I think. Jeff, dad of three, Evan, Fohini, Eric, Wendy, Jeremy, Cam, Chris, Timothy, and Slap. Everybody ready to rock and roll? Uh, I'm not even going to wait for a thumbs up. We're just going to go duck, go. Uh, somebody scream if, I, if I'm screwing this up. Ready, set, shuffle up. And the winner here will take home the 1989 Fleer Bo Jackson card. <sighs> All right, all right, 69 seconds race. Uh, there will be some jostling here back and forth, up and down, left and right, up until about seven seconds, and then we'll kind of see who's going to emerge, uh, usually out of the back of the pack, but you never know. I have seen somebody lead start to finish. That's what Dad of Three Cards fans is wishing for right now as he is out in front with Detroit Hawkeye, number two, Eric Henke right there, Cam Troy as well. Everybody in the pond, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out, dude. Just appreciate the hanging out, you know, the watch time on YouTube. Because as I've said, that's that's really the goal here is YouTube money. And out of the back of the pack, first timer making it happen. Can slap one, nine, six, five, take it down. That pink zigzag variation slap. Let's freaking go. All right. Welcome to the party slap. Uh, uh, first, uh, that's that gambler's luck, right? That first time. So we'll come over here. We'll add slap to this. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Uh, 1965. Uh, Anthony, the large one, was here as well. Boom, schlock, lock, boom. And then you got the bow. Uh, what is it? 89 bow. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Cool, cool, cool. All right. That can go there. Here's our last card for the giveaway. There's our sleeves. Sweet. Holy mackerel, folks. We're going to have to freaking. What are we going to do to this box to guarantee that we've got an auto in it? Congratulations, Tommy. Is it, this is so this is your first time hanging out, right? I don't remember. If, I'm sorry if, I've, haven't, uh, if I haven't seen your name before. Uh, oh, wait a second. Why is that still thing showing up there? That current comment. Yeah, there we go. We should probably do this. Hello. That'll probably show up as a X as a YouTube handle though, won't it? Maybe. Boom. All right. So yeah, last box, man. Mason Win Auto. Let's go. I like your thinking. I like your thinking, Anthony. Let's go. Oh, thanks, Timothy. Yeah, that Jerome Bettis, if you want that, just hit me up. I'll sell it to you for like a dollar or whatever shipping is. All right, we're going to just open this up. Everybody, I don't know what to do other than just, you know what? We pull fire feet, people. That's just what we do. We don't even have to talk about it. We just make it happen. All right, all right. Uh, Anthony, is Jordan... Uh, Walker, is he in the lineup? Or is he down in the minors? 18 packs, 8 cards per pack. Maybe we'll get a dual auto pack to make up for the... Man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Anthony Rizzo. What's up, Anthony? Ricky Henderson. What? Why's I got a black border? And then there's a blue card in there. I think. 
So Ricky Henderson black chain card. That's pretty dope. And then the Manny Machado blue. So we hit you hit color our first box. Hmm. Does that what does that bode for us? Anthony, I don't even know if I want to know. Color's nice. I dropped a sleeve. Color is nice. That black Ricky Henderson card is pretty smooth too. We're gonna put that in the sleeve as well. You know, those black borders are hard to keep clean on cards. And we definitely, I mean, it's, I don't know if this card's worth anything, maybe a quarter, but uh, that Ricky Henderson in the A's uniform is just such a cool looking picture. Boom, 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 boom. One blue foil per box. Is that what it is? All right. That's a big league. So, so this is one of those big league cards, but he's not drawn as a cartoon. So that's why I don't get, I don't understand the pattern on those, the big league cards. I, I like the live picture, real realistic picture versus the cartoon. Cause I think the cartoon looks, the art's horrible, but we shall see. We shall see mascot. Another Dominguez getting lots of Dominguez rookies. It's a cool little pose. And then uh, mascot is that what the name of the Chicago Matt? So no, because I think they did the same thing. What's the name of the Chicago uh, White Sox mascot? Does he have a name? So the Orioles. The card was also said the mascot, but then people were telling me that the Orioles' name is different. Here we go. Yeah, we got it. We can't. You can't flip it over. There's a Heston Jerstad, Kajerstad rookie card for the Orioles. Orioles got another freaking rookie rocking and rolling. Holy farm system, Batman. Some rookies in that pack. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Those Titan sorting trays are making this really easy too. Uh, I'm working on putting that eBay stuff together. Look for that. The course will be showing up uh, eventually, but the resources and everything else you guys all have access to sooner. There's Ichiro. Cool, cool, cool. Rookie, 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 rookie. Christopher Morell. And there's Ichiro. Yeah, so like I really, I really like last year's cartoon style cards so much better than this year's. I don't understand this. And I'm sorry I'm going to rant here for a little bit, but like, I don't understand this card. Does anybody, can you explain it to me? He's got wood. I don't, I don't know what the wood frame means. And I don't understand why some are cartoon and some are not. Would I buy any more big league? How much big league would I buy if I were to buy more big league or if I were to like go back in time? And just buy it for myself. There we go. Good vibrations, Ellie de la Cruz. That's cool. That's cool. Ellie's doing well. And there's a Shohei. Hashtag Showgate. What do you guys think about what's going on with Shohei? Well, that's a dope good vibrations card. That's cool. That's cool. We're going to make sure that gets him to sleep too, simply because black corners are so, so uh, easy to ding. Even if they are inexpensive cards, just want to take care of them like they aren't because that's what happened, right? There's cards from when we were younger that just have a slightly dinged corner that would be worth so, so much more. I don't know if that's the future, but uh, yeah, I was wondering how if they were actually going to do it that way or what they were going to do with him. Uh, there's the foil gunner. So yeah, whoever had the oils, is oh, there's a Frank Thomas. Sweet, sweet, sweet. See, like I don't, I don't understand because it's the same big league set. And like, look at the look at the cartoon. I don't, I don't like it. I just don't like that insert. So I guess what I'm saying is, uh, I wouldn't buy any more big league one thousand percent. There's no no reason to buy any more of this stuff. Um. 
if I could go back in time and we're just buying this for myself, uh, one box, uh, two boxes probably is what I would do just because I did get clobbered on my first box. Absolutely clobbered on my first box. Yeah, that's a dope gunner for sure, Wendy. So, two boxes, spend 100 bucks on this, rip it with your kids, rip it for yourself. I think that's I think that's all I'd spend on this. There's a Cal Ripken Jr. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Orioles are kicking butt in this box. So, and I don't, what's the significance here of his arm being a robot? So, the ones with the checkerboard pattern around the outside are cartoons. The ones that don't have a checkerboard pattern around the outside aren't cartoons. But they are both TBL, I believe. I believe, I believe. We'll, we'll get another one. Hopefully, we'll get another one of those inserts. I'd like to get a numbered one. Yeah, Orioles are doing really well in this rip. I'm going to be 100% honest here. Oh, there's a red foil. There's a red foil. Who is the red foil going to be? Upside down. Uh-oh. Los Angeles. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts. Dodgers doing well. You got a Shohei and now a colored Mookie. So what does that mean for us? Oh, the last three boxes have been tons better. Tons better. Or, yeah, than the first one for sure, for sure. So I did right. I, I ate the bad box for y'all. All right, all right. I mean, I, I guess kind of, Chris, that that feels like it's reaching a little bit, right? Because there was more going on in that arm than just a bionic, bionic. Uh, there was like felt like he was wearing a Koopa browser shell on his shoulder or some silliness. Say that three times fast. Felt like more than just a robot bionic arm. I guess is what I'm saying there. Man, oh man, where is our rookie at? Here we go. Here's we might have the whole set of to the moon. Reference to Iron Man. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a little went a little overboard on it, I think. Boom 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right. Let's go, let's go. I think Cal Ripken Jr. signs in this as well. Yeah, we might have all the two of the moons. Curtis Mead. Everybody's getting some action. Man, I really wanted to pull one of those let's go cards. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, folks. Down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, like Iron Man makes sense, but I'm not sure. I didn't understand the. Um, there's color in this pack too. No, that's not color. That's uh, just the back of the Good Vibrations card, isn't it? Yeah. Hank Aaron. So Angels, uh, Angels. Wow, Atlanta, <laughs> Atlanta doing well. Yeah, it's weird. So the, now this one's got a wood frame, and it's still the two TBL. So it's still the tops big league subset, but wired. And the freaking Ricky had a chain around it. Oh. Um, the next rip that I'm going to do is going to be for uh, NBA Prism. I've got some... I've got uh, two boxes of NBA Prism. I don't even know what boxes they are, but it's 12 packs, 12 cards per pack, 12 
packs per box. 144 cards coming. I ordered two boxes of those from Walmart. Those are coming. I've got four Monopoly blasters of Prism on the shelf behind me. I'll probably put those into the rip and we'll we'll figure it out all up, making sure it's a price where the price is nice. And because there's a Wemby in that, we probably will have to do random teams just because everybody deserves a fair shot as at the uh, uh, at the Wemby. Now I don't know enough about basketball to really understand what uh, we should do, but I'll do my best. I just know that Wemby's are nice, and I was able to pick up some of those cards, uh, the Monopoly stuff this morning. I felt, felt that would be good to add. Bobby Witt Jr., cool, cool, cool. And there is our third become the big leaguer. So, again, those will be going out tonight. Tonight, or not tonight, uh, Thursday morning when this stuff ships. Uh, but we will be giving those out tonight, awarding those out tonight. You might get skunked on an auto, man. Where, where's my no skunk guarantee on what I bought, right? There's a nice little Andrew Abbott rookie card, though. That's nice. And there is a Christopher Christian Encarnacion Strand card. All right, all right. Joey Vato. All right, two packs left, man. Whoa. Two packs left. Um, Yowza. Uh, maybe I'm saving up all of my uh, fire for the. Uh, did he make the? Did he actually make the team? The oh, dude, we are gonna get smoked. No way, this is gonna be a big banger. <laughs> this if this card doesn't have a big banger autograph in it, holy mackerel, man! Uh, if this card doesn't have something good in it i'm gonna probably lower my uh uh what you should do you should probably just get one box <laughs> just buy one box of this and uh forget about it good vibrations julio rodriguez hey there's a jordan walker we pulled no evan carter nothing crazy no autos four boxes i was kind of hoping that would be an auto cool card four boxes and no autos holy rip big league um shoot that's gross that's so gross hey anthony and anybody else have you guys seen this stuff opened already is it this bad like trying to get an auto out of this stuff because last year and again maybe it's because i get that buy the wrong box there's no guaranteed in any of these things, right? They don't have boxes where they guarantee autos. Man, oh, man. I'd go through with what we got, but who wants to look at all that again? They're nice looking cards, don't get me wrong. Holy mackerel. All right, so let's do this. Um, we've got these three cards to give away. I'm going to do that uh, fast here. Um, and I want to be set up the right way to do that the right way. Uh, yeah, this stuff can all probably go in these, I would think. Uh, da, 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 da. Actually, can it hold 15? I don't know if I can hold 15. Um, I'll just write it down. All right, so everybody... Yeah, that's crazy, Anthony. I mean, you, you thought I'd have gotten one. With four four boxes, yeah, right. I don't think so either, Wendy. So that sucks, y'all. That sucks. I'm sorry, mother scratcher. I usually pull something decent. I guess I guess that's the game, right? If you want to pull something decent, they got to throw you into a freaking um uh. uh Into a freaking couple hundred dollar box. But just like a lot of things in life, you get what you pay for and you get screwed too. <laughs> so I'm putting these ducks in the pond here for boom, 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 boom. Uh, Fohini, since you didn't, since that was a free spot, 
Uh, you're not eligible for this. Check the terms and conditions. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. This is really for people spent money on this, so they need to get there. Same for you, Dad. Um, boom, 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 boom. We did have some good Cardinals cards, for sure, for sure. Emo, we got you in the pond. Let's go, let's go. So we'll be doing three races. We'll just do the winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You get uh, the spot, then we'll just roll it again roll three times. Boom, 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 back to back. We'll probably, oh, Snapdragon, this will pop. And your mouth's flopped. Uh, shit, that was right. Oh, shit, that uh, we'll just go ahead and do these for nine seconds. We'll get them over and then we'll do the last race for folks watching live. How's that for a deal? And then we can, uh, oh, what happened to the names in the list? Where do they go? It says names in the list. That's it, right? Taco, me. So there's seven names there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, sweet, sweet, sweet. So, do go, ducks go. This is for the become a big leaguer cards. Hey, what's up, Doctor Collectible? Man, Doctor Collectible, we didn't hit spit, yo. These boxes were busted. The coolest cards we got was a Phil Necro, man. I love Phil Necro, but holy mackerel! Nine seconds. Here's the giveaway for the first. Become a big, become a big leader, become a big leaguer card is going to go to Chris, 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 Chris. So here we go, here we go. Actually, I'll just write it down on the card. Here's the card. All right, so Chris, you got this one. Race again. We'll kick Chris out of the pond. The next become a big leaguer card is going to go to. Bum, 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 bum. The big Jagoos got in last spot in the pond. There we go. There we go. Race again. Last chance for romance. Become a big leaguer card. The third one is going to go too. Yeah, but man, I don't know, doctor. I was pulling some. And Eric H., what's up? What's up? Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Uh, Eric H., I pulled straight fire out of uh, Panini Prism NFL. Like straight freaking fire. I can't lie about that. Oh, did you guys not see the duck race? Did I have the duck races live? Oh, dude, I feel like such a jerk wagon. Oh, you're kidding me. I did the duck races. Should, should we redo the duck races? I can't redo the duck races. You guys are all in the spot. You guys don't care. It was nine seconds. No big deal. But we do have one last giveaway to do so i'm going to give away this uh ken griffey jr really good condition 1991 upper deck card number 555 uh yeah there we go there we go yeah i'm sorry dude this uh, i might set up again i changed my setup and i lost my second monitor and i'm an idiot uh just trying to figure this stuff out you guys know that i hope anybody out there watching me look like a dumb Fool, it's only like the third or fourth time I've done this, but I'm getting better every time, refining the setup every time. But this time, we're going to be giving away this 1991 Upper Deck King Griffey Jr. card, number 555. Uh, well, the way that this works is people watching live. <laughs> True that, Jeremy. Uh, uh, the um, People watching live, you didn't have to buy into the rip. Just go ahead and uh, give me your Twitter handle. That's where we communicate. We put you into the pond where we do these duck races and you will win the Ken Griffey Jr. card. So the people that I have in so far, bum, 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 bum. slap and really cool 31. They have won already. Um, we'll pull them out of the pond. Bum, 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 bum. We'll throw them in and then we'll pull them out. So really Cool, 31. You already won one, so we're pulling you out on this. And Slap, you already won one. Anybody else that wants to get into this, throw your Twitter handle into, into the chat, and we'll go ahead and do the, the race here in a second. Hey, thank you, Dr. Collectible. Um, 
Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't mess around too much on Instagram. I'll post some pictures here and there, but it's it's going to be Twitter where I do all the, the uh, communication and everything else. Hey, what's up, Jake? Jake, the beer guy. Let's go. We'll get you into the pond on this. Jake, the beer guy. The big jagoos. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, nice, dude. That was you. I appreciate the business, man. I was afraid those cars were gonna not, weren't gonna sell, even at ninety nine cents. You know, I just want to move stuff. I've had uh, uh, some decent action in the eBay store. Thanks, guys, for for shopping there. I do appreciate that. Uh, eBay store is what just search for Get Good Dad on eBay or follow me on Actually Be. I'll find it that way too. So, is everybody cool? Can I get a thumbs up on the ducks in the pond? And we'll actually do this next one at sixty nine seconds because it is the best number. Bing, bing, bing. Ready, set, shuffle up. Go, ducks, go. If you're not in the pond, you're not in the pond. Um, man, oh, man, Big League just broke our hearts tonight, didn't it? I thought for sure we were going to pull one auto. And from what I'm hearing from that Monopoly stuff, I'm a little scared to open that, too. I might actually, I think I might put most of that Monopoly up for sale overpriced. See if I can get somebody to, to grab onto it. Um, but if not, we'll we'll rip it. But I haven't heard good things about this last uh, distribution of Monopoly. Here we go. The large one in the uh, mermaid attire. Cam Troy, number two there. Jake the beer guy hanging out in the back along with Eric. And Evan Fohini, the Spartan and... We'll be down to 15 seconds left. Who is going to take it down? Usually out of the back of the pack. Though. Don't fall back too far. About time somebody makes that move. There it is. The number two spot from up on top. Evan made in that move. But Eric Hanky coming out of the back of the pack. The Red Hearts variation. Taken down and collecting the Ken Griffey Jr. card. Congratulations, Eric. Very, very, very much appreciated. 91 uh, Griffey upper deck. Because the other one we gave away was something else. deck what was the other one that we gave away though that was the score boom 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 holy mackerel folks congratulations congratulations on the uh boom shalak lock boom holy mackerel folks how do we even begin to talk about what just happened tonight with this uh big league baseball box or boxes we opened four boxes tonight appreciate everybody buying into this rip appreciate everybody uh who's kind of hanging out uh you know i didn't have a no skunk guarantee in this but I feel a little like we got a little kick so i'm gonna see what cards are out there what what things we got maybe uh throw in something for the folks uh just because we didn't pull an auto man four boxes no auto come on now you gotta do better than that you gotta do better than that. and this came right right from tops like tops you know what your distribution to people is. I mean, I know it's all kind of randomly, blah, 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 whatever. Just call it whatever. Like people really should. If people buy four directly from the supplier, they know where cards are. There should be an auto in one every four boxes. Seems like it'd be fair. But again, life's not fair. Baseball cards are definitely not fair. So I don't want to complain too much because people will come after me and yell at me on, on X. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, Dr. Collectibles, four boxes, no auto. That's busted. I'll probably get yelled at for my opinion, but thank you everybody for hanging out. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. What time is it? 8.30. I'm going to go uh, uh, hang out with the kids a little bit. They're going to get ready for school, starting back up. Uh, make sure my wife's taken care of. She's got to go back to work tomorrow. So appreciate everybody watching this stuff, hanging out. And we did, I mean, we pulled some cool cards. We hit a gold Phil Necro, a blue Matt Olson, and a red Corey Seeger. Uh, but, uh, we, and we gave away, uh, some upper deck or some Ken Griffey Jr. cards. That's pretty dope. Thank you, Jeremy. Yes. Happy Easter to you too. Man, I, doctor, dude, and doctor, like, so I've opened in the past, I've opened, take care, Wendy, have a good night. Uh, before this, I did a rip, two or three rips with NFL Prism. And I pulled 
every CJ Stroud that you could pull from retail. It was all retail. Hangers, blasters, and uh, megas. I did three kind of with distributions of each. And I pulled legit fire out of all that stuff. And CJ Stroud, silver, CJ Stroud, orange laser, CJ Stroud, green. Uh, and then even pulled another orange laser Stroud for myself, for my PC. So I uh, like, people expected me to pull straight fire. And tonight I got freaking smacked. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, like legit. And I don't know if you know anything about my kind of stuff. I'm, I'm interested to check out what you got going on, Dr. Collectible. It's so cool that you have a card. Uh, I want to figure out how I can get a card. But uh, uh, I usually pull insane heat and do not pull anything here. I'm just kind of, I don't know what to do. I've never been in this position before, but I'm sure it happens. I know it happens. And again, it's a low price product, but still. So I did the breakdown of cost per card of this big league product versus series one product, uh, basic retail stuff. I don't think I did hobby. And the cost per card is only like between like six and 10 cents difference between top series one. So you're not getting this much cheaper than you're getting series series one. And this year's product is not, better than series one last year's big league product i fully think was better than top series one the design was dope the inserts were dope this one the to the moon inserts are dope but everything else is kind of meh legitimately meh but if i were if i had the choice to buy some big league tomorrow just as a consumer i might i, I would buy one box but that's probably good enough wait for the next thing i'm waiting for the baseball that's going to have colt keith in it you know, with the Tigers. Granted, he's played three games and hasn't really done anything too exciting, but uh, uh, yeah, is what it is. Sports cards, folks. Don't rip sports cards if you want to make money. <laughs> Who else is out there watching? Because I said, I appreciate everybody out there. Um, I'll keep talking as long as people want to. Any questions, throw them out there. Hit me up. But, uh, you know, we do Wednesday night. Okay, cool, Cam. Cool. I don't know. I'm I'm probably gonna like ramble for like two more minutes and then go up and hang out with the family. It is Easter night and it is school night and all that happy crap. So um but just to kind of sum up, Mike Vanderpool, aka Get Good Dad, always learn twenty four seven. I'm an aspiring YouTuber, kinda that's what I want to do in my old age is just hang out on YouTube and open sports cards and some other things, but sports cards is a fun place to hang out, build a nice little community of people hanging out. I do some low dollar rips. I call them goody rips. I'm trying to make sure that people get access to cards because I live in a spot where I can. Um, and I'm just trying to generate content for that YouTube channel. And this is one of the ways that like this thing being two hours long, this will get me some pretty good uh, YouTube time. So like if you want to support me in any way, shape or form, the best thing I could have you do would be to just watch my YouTube videos. I'm a YouTube partner. I'm right on the borderline to getting demonetized. So like, uh, just watch my videos, have them on in the background when you're working, uh, whatever it is, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, I, I hang out on X. I do stuff there every Wednesday night. We've been doing live duck races. So I'll throw up a post, ask people to repost it, get you a duck in the pond. And we do those duck races like you saw tonight. Um, this week, I don't know what we'll give away. I'm thinking about giving away a Shaq rookie that I just grabbed up. I'm not ex entirely sure, but we give away cool cards. We hang out. It's a good little community of people we got coming together. Last stream, we had like 30 people hanging out. So um, that's just who I am, what I'm trying to do, build a community of people who just like to hang out and have a good time, uh, hit some cards from their team, see cool cards getting hit, and uh, we'll just keep making it happen, folks. Appreciate everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Be good to each other. Happy Easter. <laughs>